Welcome to Whistler. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top things you can do when you're here. We start off this countdown with cow's ice cream. This is said to be Canada's best ice cream and is definitely pretty good. They have so many different flavors. The one I had was an Nanaimo bar and it was really good. They also have a shop inside selling their cow themed merch. In number 9 we have the North Village. This spot is home to cow's ice cream and also many other amazing restaurants like Hunter Gather, La Cantina and The Warehouse. There's also a cool gift shop called Cool as a Moose and the village is home to the Olympic Rings. The next spot is the living room at Pangea. Pangea is a pod hotel but it also has a restaurant where they have a deal for every day of the week. They also have a DJ that comes in sometimes to play and there are some board games you're free to play. With number 7 we have Alta Lake. This lake is not far from the main village and there are a lot of spots to jump off on the docks. It also has some great views of the nearby mountains. There are many places where you can get out onto the lake. There's also a hike that you can do that takes you around the whole lake. And along the hike, there's a couple beaches that you can get out onto. The number six spot is the Olympic Rings and Olympic Plaza. The park is a really nice spot to chill and it also gives a really nice view of the Olympic Rings with the mountainous background. Nearby is also the Paralympics logo and a tribute to the Georgian Luge rider who died during the 2010 Olympics in Whistler. The next spot in the countdown is Green Lake. This is the big green colored lake you can see when you're on top of the mountain. This lake isn't really swimmable because of the very rocky bottom and it's just very cold. It doesn't look as green when you're there as it does from far away. The number four spot goes to the Whistler train wreck. There are a bunch of trains in the middle of the forest that were derailed in 1956 and it was a big mystery how they got there for a long time. Eventually the story came out and it turns out they were actually placed there. There's a trail that takes you to the train wreck. Purebred Bakery takes spot number three in this countdown. They have five locations now in Whistler and Vancouver but the original is in Whistler. They have so many delicious treats and pastries to try, and they're definitely a must. The number two spot goes to Lost Lake. This is the closest lake to the village, and it can be reached by bus. There's two docks in the water for jumping off, and this is also a sandy lake, so there aren't any rocks in the water. There's also a trail around the lake, and a few more beaches around it to check out. The number one spot has to go to the peak to peak gondola. This is an absolute must in Whistler. The gondola takes you to the top of Blackcomb Mountain and from there there are many trails you can take to get great views. The peak to peak gondola takes you from Blackcomb to Whistler Mountain and it takes you really high over the ground. Whistler Mountain also has many trails to go on for some good views. Another thing worth trying is mountain biking down the mountain. That's all the spots we have for you today. If you want to know more about Whistler, please check out my travel guide link below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.